what's going on everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how you can create aws free tier account so all you have to do is you need to go to this website called aws.amazon.com free once you are on this web page you will see this option create a free account click on it and you will be taken to this web page now here you need to provide your email address and a name for your account so i'm just going to provide the email address and i'm also going to give it a name let's say test account and i'm going to click on verify email address now a security code or a verification code will be sent to my email address and just paste it right here click on verify you can see it says it's you email address has been successfully verified now we need to provide a root user password so let's just set one strong password and then click on continue now here what you need to do is you need to select how do you plan to use aws so this is the first option if you are using it for business then choose business if it's for your personal uh, use then choose the personal one i'm just going to choose the personal and then right here we need to provide our full name our country code which should be your uh, country code if you are living in uh, uk let's say you choose uk if you are living in uae choose uae and then provide your phone number right here and then you can choose your country or region and then you need to provide address line one and then the name of the city that state and then the postal code i'm not just i'm not going to fill it in front of you because i don't want to reveal my address and other information so i'm just going to fill fill this up and then continue to the next step so after you filled in all the information click on this i have read and agree to the terms of aws customer agreement then click on continue and now on this page we need to fill in our uh, billing information so we need to provide the credit card or debit card number and the expiration date and the cvv or cvc code and then the card holder's name so you need to have a debit card or pan card in order to continue on this step so i'm just going to fill in all this detail again and then we will click on uh, verify and continue now you will be taken to the your bank's uh, payment gateway and uh, you need to provide an otp a small amount will be deducted from your account it's going to be a very very small amount it will be refunded back to you once the verification is done so you don't need to worry about that so enter your otp click on confirm now you can see it's securely connecting to my bank and now we come to the fourth step where we have to choose the primary purpose of our account so i have let's say this for academic purposes i'm going to choose academic you can choose any other yeah let's use actually personal use that would be better one now in here we need to provide a document verification so i have all these options you might have some different option but you can choose any verification document and select that option here i'm just going to choose pan card and I'm going to provide my date of birth. And let me enter the PAN details. Then I consent to allowing AWS and click on continue. Now in the final step, what we need to do is we need to provide our phone number and uh, we need to provide the security check. And this is actually going to confirm our identity. So I'm just going to do that. You do that as well. Now this will send an SMS to my phone number and I need to press and I need to enter the verification code that I got. So in my case, it is 5368 and I'm going to click on continue. Now, this is actually the final step where we select the support plan. I'm just going to choose the basic support, which is free as well and click on complete sign up. Now you can see it says congratulations. So if you also see this message, then you should subscribe to my channel because we have successfully created an AWS account. And this is one of the videos of uh, many videos that will be coming on this channel. We are going to learn about a lot of things about AWS. So this is just to get uh, this thing out there, how to set it up for my students who want to learn more things about AWS. Now we can click on go to AWS management console and we can sign in. And this is the console home so this is our uh, aws account now we'll be doing everything here we'll be setting ec2 instances the rds databases everything that is related to aws we'll be doing that here 
So yeah, if you find this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.